dye ombre colorful effect hopefully to get something similar to this picture here which I found on Pinterest and I really love I love all the purples and the pinks and that little bit of turquoise in there I'm gonna be using directions hair dye because I did a lot of research into what semi-permanent colors are best and a lot of people had good things to say about directions so I've got them in cerise flamingo pink violet and turquoise so that I can hopefully get a nice range of colors in my hair I've also got some little pieces of tinfoil torn up and some gloves because I don't want to get colourful hands and also some sectioning clips just because they're going to come in handy I didn't want to bleach my hair any more than I already have for doing this so I'm just going to see how these colours turn out on my ombre hair as it is bleached a little bit, maybe like up to there-ish already so we'll see how it goes First you need to wash and dry your hair but only use shampoo skip the conditioner and skip any heat protectant when you're drying it I know that's really bad but you don't want any product on your hair so that the dye is going to stick to it properly then section your hair and there's no avoiding looking silly doing this I took pieces about as thick as I might take when I curl my hair with the idea that I'm going to be alternating between the four colors for each section to get a multicolored look so I took a bit of tin foil and then painted on the first color of dye using a dye brush from boots and then I just decided to use my fingers instead I sort of smushed it around a bit at the top where I'd put the dye so that it wouldn't get like a harsh line of colour and it would have more of an ombre effect. Then wrap that strand up in tin foil and move on to the next one. The reason I decided not to use a brush was because with four colours I was going to have to wash it every time and that was going to take a long time and I was able to work it into the strands just fine with my fingers. What I did do though is change gloves so I used a different pair for the purple, the turquoise and then one for both the pinks just so I didn't mix the colours together too much and get some sort of weird mucky brown colour. Then I just repeated that process for all the rest of my hair making sure I didn't get two colours too close together so that they're all mixed up and getting that multicoloured look. The good thing is you can kind of tell what the colour is like beneath the strand that you're dyeing because the tinfoil has some residue on it thanks to my weird finger painting style of hair dyeing. All up I think this dyeing part took me around an hour because I was doing such small strands. As you can see even though I use gloves I still managed to get some dye on my hands but it did come off pretty easily. Next I took my hair dryer and blasted the tin foil for a bit because I'd read that heat really helps the dye develop and it's also good to let the dye dry on the hair as much as possible before you wash it off. So then I just hung around looking like an idiot for about two and a half hours before taking the tin foil off, blow drying the ends a little bit more and then washing out the dye using conditioner on the ends to seal the colour. When the dye was washed out I styled my hair the way I normally do which is actually just copying the way my friend Tara from Shop Style Conquer does her hair. She made a video on the routine so I'll leave a link to that down below if you're interested. And there's the finished result. The camera doesn't quite show the colours properly so head on over to my blog to see some pictures with a more accurate colour. I'm really happy with how the colours turned out. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted and I just feel like it's so fun in summary. I hope you like seeing the process. I wanted to make this video because I couldn't find one that was doing exactly what I wanted to do so hopefully if you're after achieving this look too then this video will help and if there's anything about the process that I wasn't clear on or anything that I needed to explain more then please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll answer that there. I'm also going to leave a link in the description box to a blog post about the process which will include some photos of how the dye lasts across the weeks because by the time you see this video I will have had it dyed for a few weeks you better see how it fades. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what you think of this new look down below in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>